Hello there. I'm guessing that was Kara. I can't tell because on this screen. Oh no, I can. Yeah, I can. No one. It was Matthew. You're yeah, right, Matthew. Took it. Took a little second to come up on my uh, on my screen there for a second. Tell me if I had my Twitch open as well rather than just my chat but I'll be with you in a couple of minutes, uh, Matthew. Hello everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How are we all? Sony Interactive Entertainment present. Let's get some sound on. That'd help. Five viewers already, bloody hell. Yeah, some, was it October or November? I'd seen something about that. Uh, I hope you had a nice experience yesterday. It's good to see you again. Yes, I opened up yesterday to see if there was any options. That's all I did. So, thank you, lovely lady. Lovely Android lady. Knife for November. Nice, I'll definitely be doing God of War again on stream before that happens. That's cool. Right, bear with me a second, ladies and gentlemen, while we get properly set up. Um, I think I've got everything ready. 9th of November, nice, nice, nice. You know what? Hmm. I can't pop that out, can I? Ah, that's annoying. That's Kara. That's definitely Kara. <laughs> yep, knew it. Welcome, Kara. 
So welcome everybody. Um, let, let me do, do the proper intro a second and then I'll greet you all. Welcome everybody, thank you. And my name is Ignorant Norman. We're playing Detroit Become Human today. This is my first playthrough of this game. I have been avoiding playthroughs of this. Did you know the motto of Detroit is, we hope for better things? Quiet a second. I'm talking to my, I'm talking to people here. Just give you, give me a second, I'll be with you. Right, afternoon. Um, so, yeah, I've even stayed away from Let's Plays of this. I've stayed away from people streaming this. Uh, basically, I'm going into this blind, blind as hell. Uh, apart from probably the first two or three minutes. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be, it's gonna be good. She will keep talking. I, I, I gathered that. I just, I just, I'm interacting. I'm interacting. We get to know each other. This beautiful young android lady. <laughs> right, uh, let me go in the options. This is the options section. Yes. You can customize your experience here. Thank you, thank you. I gathered that right. Video. Yeah, that's fine. Audio. That seems to be fine. Difficult. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got it. Casual for now. That's fine. I'm just going to have a quick look at the controls. So I know. And I'm going to switch control pad a second. Because that might be a good idea using the good control pad. <coughs> right. Vibration on. Control speaker on. Invert axes, no, no, right, mind palace, switch camera, I'm sure it'll teach me this, so, right, back, I hope it teaches me this, back. Fatality. Your parameters have been set. Fatality. Parameters have been set. Extras? What's in the extras? This is the extras section. Oh, nice. As you play, you'll unlock all kinds of content that you can find here. Thank you. So, I, I literally, you've got lag. No, I don't. You've got lag. I don't. Mine. Yeah, you've got lag. I don't. Trust me, I can see my stats here. My live on. By the way. Twitch. Did you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart section? I didn't, but I'm talking to my viewers. You can also see the choices made by other players there. Shut up, woman. <laughs> um, no, I haven't, because my live shows is excellent. Um, I'm looking at my OBS right now, and I'm running smoothly. Uh, 6,000 KB a second, 30 frames per second, 11.5 CPU used, no, no dropped frames at all. So I haven't even dropped one frame. So unfortunately, it's on your side, not mine. I know, yeah, trust me, I know when I've got lag because I'm watching my stream on my laptop. Well, I've got OBS open. That's the beauty of having two screens, Matthew. Oh, three screens in my case, because I've got the laptop as well, is I can keep an eye on everything at once. Um, yeah, okay. She's going to keep talking. So, shall we just get into the game? Like, I, I don't, I, like I said, I don't know anything about this game. So, we're going to click New Story. Um, I didn't actually do anything. I just loaded it up. So, I haven't seen anything in the story. This, like I said, this is blind. And... It's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be interesting. So, let's do this. Mm. How is the mic to desktop audio? Does one need to go up, one need to go down? Is it fine? Please let me know. Time 8.29 p.m. or 7. Negotiator on site. Oh, we're a negotiator. Android negotiator. Move using the left foot stick, okay? That's fairly simple. Oh! Interact using the right stick. 
I didn't mean to press mine powers. Turn the game sound down a little. All right. Is that any better? Or a bit more? Phillips Caroline, born 5th, 23rd, 2001. Born 2028. Phillips John, born 1999. What year is it now? That's a good question. So they, if the girl was born in 2028, what technically year is it now? Let's put that back. Think so. Drew, what's going on? It's fine. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I haven't dropped a single frame yet, so it can't be on my end. Process data, Dwarf Grammy. Save it. Don't, don't let the fish die. 2036. Alright, I'm sure it would have told me later on. L1. Ah. Oh, this is really cool. I like the way this is working. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? I'm assuming, does the camera angle not change with yourself? All right. I'm assuming they're sending an android because an android isn't alive. Oh, whatever, it's not. I'll, I'll to consult your objectives. Right, find Captain Allen. Ticket, we've got a hostage situation then. If I'm a negotiator. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. Hello, I'm Gaming. Going back to work in a sec. Hello, Em. Welcome. It's firing and everything that moves. Just couldn't, just couldn't resist watching a bit of Detroit. Is that what it is, Em? We can easily get it, but they're on the edge of the battle. If it falls, she falls. Got to go now. I, it's, it's, I, I, I understand. Um, I want the name first. Do you know its name? I completely understand. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. So, I know you only get a short break, so enjoy the rest of your day and uh, maybe you'll be able to catch me when you get home. Have you tried its deactivation codes? It's the first thing we tried. Oh, it's an android. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Oh crap, every second counts. Ah, right. I have to do this quick then, don't I? Oh, I can reconstruct. Can I run? So I can understand the probability of success.
Right. I'm guessing my percentage of sorting things out going up is good. Something else in here. DPD officer. All that two in every room, basically. Yeah, yeah. I kind of slightly worked that one out towards the end. I don't mind tips and hints, just no spoilers, please. Ah, well, that's telling me the game. No spoiling, no backseating. Spoiler time. Yeah, but no backseat either. I should have put that on. Right, I don't mind tips on the gameplay, but... I would have missed that, though. <laughs> to be fair. Alright then, my bad. No, no worries, it's, I just want to play it for the first time. I might miss things and that's fair enough. And I'm sure everybody's missed something in this game the first time they played it. Find bullet wound. Get it playing the here. <laughs> Try to scare me. Oh, I want to know where that went. Oh, that's it. There we go. This reminds me of Batman or Arkham Origins. Where you reconstruct the, the scenes. Whoa! 
I've examined both victims, haven't I? Speed up your search. I'm trying to. I'm going as fast as I can. Right, I think I've got enough. I'm going in. Oh, I'll just quickly search. Do it, let's do it. The obvious clue is time. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Uh oh. Go, go, go. This is where my choices are really gonna matter, innit? Oh dear. That's not good. I'm an android, just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side. I can't understand how I'm feeling. You and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. I'll accept that, because you might destabilize. I can understand. I am paying attention. I did what you wanted. Why does I need to keep an eye on chat? You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go and I promise you everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. I don't know if I made the right choice, but he's an android, so he can't die. And she's a human girl. So... Uh oh.
There were better outcomes. Thanks, I probably was, but... I'm thinking he's not dead, he's an android. I don't know. Oh, this is the scene's floor chart here. You can review the past you've taken, the past yet to be explored, and what poss possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you, earns you points you can spend in extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards completion of the floor chart. Okay. Connor died, protect. Oh, no! So he's actually dead. Saving the fish did something. There were other clues that I missed. SWAT was injured. If I'd have been faster, that probably wouldn't have happened. Friendly approach. We dismissed the helicopter. Get close enough, which we did, to self-sacrifice. There were better. There were probably talkative ways out of that as well. So. Reassuring, but just throw yourself into arms way. I was reassuring. I, I don't know why. I think I just panicked then and I made a choice. Um, Game-wise. And it probably was the wrong choice. I think because he was stabilised enough, I could have probably talked him down. Um, I just, I, I, look, I was looking at the options like, oh, what do we do, what do we do? And that one was highlighted, so I just felt like that was a good choice. <laughs> I'll know for next time. You've got to remember, this is completely blind. I've never watched any of this game. So I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. And it didn't exactly tell me, like, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. It just threw me into the game quite heavily. So, yeah. Oh, well. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about it. it. It is what it is. Yeah. So, it's cool. It's cool. So locked paths, actions, choice, successes, death. Uh. Oh well, we lost a character already. So based on your own choices, I gather that, but. This is the top of the range household assistant. Cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' medicare. Yeah, elementary school. But good afternoon. Can I help? Wow. Yes, we're looking for you. Honey, it looks amazing. This is wonderful. How much did you say? It's coming towards you? I can assure you that was $999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. We'll take it. It switches <laughs> to surveillance mode. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. So basically, no. yeah, I get, I've, I've worked that one out. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably won't panic on my choices as much next time, but I'm still getting used to the game. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we I'm, had to reset it. Don't believe Maybe him. We had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Register your name. Kara. Oh, it's Kara. You're here, Kara. Oh, so that was just like the intro. All right. Hi. Well, I'm gonna finish my sandwich that I didn't actually finish because I was busy setting up the stream while this goes on. It looks so pretty though. 
It's a very pretty game. I'm in the game mode. Cool. And you can cook and clean. Very useful. That's my job because of androids, help me. Written and directed by David Cage. It's beautiful visually. I know it's very pretty. Very pretty. So yeah, 2038. Would you like to go home now? Yes, right. It's got a very um opposite to Blade Runner kind of esque feel to it. Cause in Blade Runner, the replicants or androids are illegal. I'm just going to pause it right now while I have a discussion. Um, they're very um, illegal in on Earth. In I don't know if you've ever seen Blade Runner, but um, the concept of that is they've designed an artificial intelligent life to work off off world labor um, to do mines and stuff like that. Stuff that you know humans it would be dangerous for them. And, um, yeah, they're not allowed on Earth. I'm not allowed to be on Earth. Apart from a few, couple of minor exceptions, i.e. I, the company that creates them, Tyrell Corp. Um, and Blade Runners are cops that find replicants that have run away or went AWOL or have gone crazy. And it's kind of weird because, like... Some of them are just nutty, I think, in that one. And some, like, they're talking about wanting more life. Because there's a life expectancy built into them. And that's kind of the core of the of the film, is that what what does it mean to be alive? I mean, when do you class yourself as being... When do you class something as being alive? Like, what are your basis for being a living being? You got... Uh, uh, I haven't really played the game, but I've seen it in play kind of summer territory. Whereas it's like that kind of question: What does it mean to be alive? What does it mean to be to you know? Do you have to have a soul? Like well, we've never found our souls, so like, how do you know you've got a soul? I and mean, are you self? If you're self-aware, you're alive. Well, you could you could say that these androids are self-aware can learn it can adapt so it like us so it's alive it's, it, it's a point of where you class something as being property to being basically a new race that's the way of looking at it, a new race of beings and it's that's kind of cool right let's resume here go to bellini paint shop okay Right now, are my options timed? Do I can I just explore a bit? <coughs> right, that is, I'm actually asking that question, so you can answer that. <coughs> eh? I'm pressing it. It's not doing it. Oh, it swiped the pad.
Because I like law. I like law still. <coughs> you and you're out like this, yeah. Talking computations and others. Right, brilliant. Thank you for that. <coughs> Secrets of Android. How does Cyberlog design its Android to coexist with humans? Designing Androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge CyberLife had to come. Jason Graff, Director of Humanization Department in CyberLife. Oh, I've got a raid! We're party of nine! Oh, it's Jess! Hello, Jess! Hello, Raiders! Welcome, welcome. Um, bear with me a second. We're, we're, we're safe on the screen. Hello, welcome, welcome, Raiders. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Jess, how was the, uh, how was the stream? Uh, hope you went well. Did you manage to survive? Um... Kara, will you do me a shout out for Jess Draws Ducks, please? It's exclamation mark, SO, space, and her stream name. And I'm um, welcome to the Raiders. My name's Ignorant Northerner. I'm a variety streamer of a mainly RPG and JRPG variety, but I do branch out to other games. Uh, we've just started Detroit Become Human, which is looking beautiful. It is my first time. Playing this game, it's my first playthrough. I'm going through this blind. I haven't even. I've been avoiding let's plays of this. I've been avoiding streamers of this. Um, thank you all for coming and uh, thank you all for joining us. Oh, uh, Jesse's throwing the ducks out. So we just. I'm, I'm getting into the lore of things right now. So I was just reading this section. Hi. Right. Jesse Graff, director of the humanization department of at CyberLife, unveiled some design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expression, and we soon realized there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. CyberLife worked on ways to humanize its machines so they could enter our homes and become members of our family. They created androids of both genders and all, eth all ethnicities, Analyzing thousands of voices to find the most be most pleasing tones, realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. The perfect simulation of humanity down to details that androids simply don't need is the secret of CyberLife's design success. Excellent. So welcome to all the Raiders. Thank you all. Right. We're going to Bellini Paint Shop, but we're going to keep an eye out while we're here. I haven't found a run button yet. I don't know if there is one. Where is it? Oh, 62 meters that way. Wait a minute. Oh, he's going to pick it up. He's an android as well. He's just a cleaner. Right. I must have to do something in the paint shop. To get into your homes. Yeah, I suppose. If it's too dehuman. You're gonna feel like it's alien, but if it's too humanized, you're not gonna be able to tell it's an android. And pe you know, there'll be people that want to know that stuff. Ah, Bellini paints, here we are. So, yeah, I can understand that. Uh, before you came in, Jess, and raided, I was, uh, we were having a little bit of conversation about Blade Runner about the film Blade Runner and the question that I post on the thing do androids dream of electric sheep and we were talking about how basically that Soma territory like what what is it makes something alive first I'd rather it more machine like so you'd prefer the more um, you might oh, what's the film called what's the film called it's got Will Smith in it I watched it over a week recently. 
what the name of the movie is. I Robot, that's the one, yeah. You, so you prefer a more like I Robot style. Let me just pause a second while I'm talking. Um, yeah, I prefer, yeah, I think that is kind of more like, you, you can definitely tell it's a robot. Um, yeah, Blade Runner is the, the, the question that I posed about, oops, the question that I put on about Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? That's a book by Philip K. Dick, and it's a novel by him, and that was the basis for the film Blade Runner. From which I have never, I haven't actually watched that. So, right, what am I supposed to do here? Collect package. All right. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Man, people thought contact was all about. Take the bus home. All right. Anything else I could do in here? Nope, not really. Yeah, I should read that. Yeah, that's what that's what the book's based off. There's a fancy art style. I, I think you'd like that. I think for you, yes, that's perfect. Isn't it? Wouldn't you love a bit of that? Is a crackle supposed to be there? Is a crackle in the audio? Is that me? I might be able to fix it. One sec. Bear me one second. You might lose get audio a sec. There we go. Meant to be. Thinks it's think it's in game. Well, we'll find out now because I've just done the thing that normally. If I've got a loose connection or all. Use R1 to switch the camera angle. Ah, right. I was trying to work that one out earlier. So the bus is that way. Oh. You're gonna be on for a bit. I think I'll be on till about six. Okay. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Oh, I'm glad I put the 18 plus stream on. What time is it now? Quarter to four. So another two hours, 15 minutes. I'll be on. I normally do a three hour stream. Oh no, I need to do something. I need to do something. Ow, oh, okay. Okay, cool. I'm going to take a nap. Be back later. No worries, Jess. Lurk away. And thank you all uh, for Jess's... Uh, uh, Jess's. Uh, all of Jess's uh, raiders for sticking with us for now. I appreciate that. I'm enjoying it. Let's go. I like it when your decisions have consequences. It's why I loved Mass Effect when it first came out. Even though it's quite older. Right, the bus stops there. Ah, 
I think there's gonna be periods where I'm gonna have to pause it and speak to you, speak to this, the, 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 uh, speak to the chat and the viewers because otherwise I'm gonna miss things like looking left and right. But no, I'm really enjoying it. Segregation on the bus. <coughs> Not like human history hasn't seen that before. In a very bad way. Yeah, you don't have to be nervous. You can come say hello, uh, Jesse's Raiders. I know a few of you from Jesse's stream when I'm in and out of it. Uh, you're also welcome to hit that follow button if you would like to. So you can catch me next time. I'm a UK-based streamer, so I this is around the time I start streaming. I don't know what time it is in, in the various countries you might be in. As it goes, you're going to have to pay very close attention. Right, that's fine. Like I, I, like I said, I don't want spoilers. I don't want you to tell me that I missed something. But if I ask a direct question, Kara, about it again, then yeah, you're more than welcome to answer it. So what could I have done better here? So there were a couple of side things that I did miss. That didn't really affect too much. I could have probably avoided the protesters if I wanted. Hmm. November 5th, 2038. Kara's here. I don't believe she was hit by a car. I believe something else happened, but we're probably not going to find out until a bit later on. Don't think you can avoid that. I was, I was thinking I could have walked around him, but I don't know. I did consider that originally when I saw the protesters, then I decided to walk right through them. Because I, I knew it would set off a, a set of... I didn't know, but I had a feeling it was going to set off an event of some type. Use I want to switch your camera angle. Yes, I know. You coming? Join Todd. Okay, you see a different point of view. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. Everybody's got a different point of view on things. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh. Who the... is Alice? That's Sorry, Alice. I had to do that. After her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. You don't like you can afford an Android. Hold R2 to scan your environment. Urgent tax, optional tax. Right, okay. Oh, I have to set that around. How do I change my camera view again? There we go, right. She's at a weird camera angle right now. Maybe. Depends on what you need. I had a massive nobly this morning, fourth one this week, and my sinuses are in pain. I'm just gonna take some pills and try and get yeah, some yeah. sleep. No nap for me. Sorry, probably for the best. No worries, Jess. Take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. End of day, priority, priority is to look after yourself, Jess. So I totally understand. And I hope you I hope you feel better soon. Clean coffee table. How many pizza boxes can that bin f hold? 
started again? No. Have I started again? But wait a minute, I want to activate the vacuum cleaner and all the optional tasks. Where's that? Ah. Uh. Damn it. Oh well. Let's take out the trash. Oh, L1. Let's have a quick peek at this. Credit card application form rejected. Overdrawn account notice. Oh, he's in lots and lots of debt. Lots and lots of debt. Like I said, I didn't think he could afford an Android. What? No, I didn't mean to do that. How do I do a poll on Twitch? Um, so when you're on Twitch, if you go to your streamer dashboard, there's a little button called Manage Poll. And you can create a poll there. I don't like that sometimes. It's just that that's a bit of a weird angle. Oh, L1 the bus. Collect dishes, activate the vacuum cleaner, check the backyard. Fuck, man. <laughs> if you need a bit of a run around on Twitch um, and the creator dashboard, like I said, I'm willing to help you with that at some point. But you'll have to pick a time when I've got a minute spare and I'll do you all of a discord screen share let's check the backyard then this what well, a cute little kitty friend like mine oh the, the cat does respond uh, ladies and gentlemen if you're still here he does respond to an exclamation mark feed Ziggy and he does say hello to anybody that says hello in the chat he's a good little cat Rewash longer. Oh. Neil. Fox Embers, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the Genova Project. Appreciate the follow. Hope you're enjoying. Um, ask about school. Aren't you going to school today? Weather? <laughs> I don't know. It's not very nice out. You might catch cold. I could get you a sweater if you want. Ah, uh, it might be an affiliate only option. Matthew. Best thing to do is if you want to create a poll that you could just link in. Um, there's a place called, if you Google it now, Straw Poll. If you have a look at that. Um, is he making weird noises? I find it hard to walk at certain camera angles. I don't know why. I thought that. Love the game. Won't spoil. No worries. It's a beautiful game. It is actually... So far, I'm really enjoying it, Fox. Um, 
I like I like a game where your decisions have consequences. That's what I was saying earlier. Um, but it's it's very pretty visually. Like like Kara says, it's it's just a very pretty game. Red eyes. Is that a drug? You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. Ooh. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Yeah, I, I did get... I got Connor killed in the opening sequence. This is how much of a blind let's play it is that I've never played it. Yep, welcome our new follower. Thank you, Kiara. Welcome. Activate vacuum cleaner. Where the hell is the vacuum cleaner in this place? Yeah, I do find it hard walking in certain camera angles. It's a bit annoying. He doing? Well, he's not watching porn, which is what it sounds like he's doing. She looks bored out of a tree because her dad's not paying any attention to her whatsoever. No. It's not what I asked you to do. Probably red heights. Ah, oh, yeah, good point. Getting high, yeah. I can't find my copy of Detroit. Dishwasher not working. Missing component. Order processing. Component ordered. I'd be a bit worried that they have access to my bank account. Oh my god. Oh, the touchpad. Yeah, it's probably getting high. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to do it for everyone. It would be scary, yeah. Oh, now I have to do it again. That's actually quite difficult. Kara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Ticket. This might be timed. Or you might get pissy. Nope. Put it down. So we're at some hockey. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, uh, that triggered him. Activate vacuum cleaner. Where the hell is that vacuum cleaner? What was she reading? Ah, oh, this is all spot. Android power, should it be outlawed? 
In the third game of the season, Android Pitcher X67 threw a pitch that brought the 120 mile per hour mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as a one per team innovation, but they've come to dominate team strategy. Every draft sees a major professional baseball team breaking their own transfer records to purchase the latest Android models. But is the game suffering? Hmm. Jenny Waterfield. Oh, by the way, just to let you know, people that are watching, I am a bit of a law fan. Um, so I will be reading stuff out and I'll be doing it. Circle bang and do it yourself. Oh, it should be, shouldn't it? Mate, there's me looking around for a Dyson. Jenny Waterfield, head of fancy in Home Runs, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing the limits of hum the is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kind of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, ex baseball bundit and ex pitcher, thinks androids are making the games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. Eh, you know what? There's some truth to that. Transport innovation. That's yeah. I'm not really bothered about that. Right. I was going to assume that the vacuum was in the utility room. But I can't see it. I can't see it, Captain. Oh, that'll be the vacuum next to it. There. Right. So I need to tidy these up first. Got it swarm on doorstep. First time viewer. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Jess kindly um, raided me. Hope you're well. Alice, we played you a bit of Detroit. Right now. Why is she always pushing me? Because you're a douche. I was going to say because you're a douche. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. Ah, uh, yeah, he's got like a bong thing in it. That's what he's doing, the red ice. Yeah, I see that. For fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. I mean, I'm not an android, but even I feel like smashing his face in. But if I were an android, I wouldn't. I think I would prefer it if I could just. Um, Change the camera angle by just using the right stick rather than having to press for the R1 all the time. That'd be nice. That's my daughter's name. That man is trash. Is it your daughter's name, Dallas? Or Kara? Ah. Uh. jobs were lost for the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. President Warren spoke today at the... I suppose that's the issue, isn't it? He didn't have a job, probably, because androids took it. And maybe that's why he's angry with... An I don't know. I'm digressing now. Alice. All right. Nice. It's a nice name, anyway. Nice name. Tight. 
Find his guitar. It's another All Sports. Have Android kills baseball. <coughs> American football is larger. Is this? Resisting the spread of Android players with top tier games still an exclusive human affair. But that's about to change following Sidelight's recent unveiling the technical demo. QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting the target six inches wide. Well, does that defeat the objective of the game? I'm not good with American football, so if somebody can fill me in, like if you can throw it to the other end, that just makes it the game pointless. Um, and hit the target. The model is also programmed with over 1,500 players from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialised manoeuvres, all of which can be adapted in real time. QB1000 was revealed at a recent Cyberlife exhibition in Detroit, where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. But while Cyberlife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kinston, founder of the anti-Android fan group, sees a sinister aspect. Cyberlife knows exactly what they're doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our spot the same way that they have all the others. Despite these revelations, some consider this simply a matter of time. With basketball and baseball already contemplating Android players, a LED sporting quarterback might just be around the corner. Interesting. Tech addict. Nah, I'm not bothered about that. Hence, Google is becoming threat. <laughs> yeah. 17 here, not hot for summer. 22 degrees here. Car is lurking away. <coughs> it, I don't know how hot it is here. Bear me a second. It has been warm today. It was 20. 20 degrees last time I checked. It's probably gone down a bit as it's getting a bit later. No, it's still 20 degrees. Still 20 degrees, right. Mate bed, ventilator, urgent task, tidy Todd's room, tidy Alice's room. Mate bed, clean mess, ventilate room. Looks like you need some ventilation. Tidy. Make bed. L two to ventilate. All right. Ah, oh. it's because I have to do. Two things. And I haven't cleaned all the mess yet. Antidepressant. Risk of behavioural disorders. And a gun. You have lots of dialogue. Uh, action often beneficial. I still haven't cleaned all his mess. Ah, oh, that mess at the other side, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Tidy that up. I need weed killer. 72 Fahrenheit in the US. Bloody hell. I need weed killer. What do you need weed killer for? Hope it's for something normal. Let me not plan on killing anybody. Using weed killer. Tidy Alice's room and something else. Watch it. He's such a douche. Oh, now I need to clean bathroom because he's just done a crappy ola. So that's Alice's room. What's in here? Oh, this is bathroom. Wait a minute. That's the bathroom. 
Oh, is that just a toilet toilet? Kills weed, kill weeds and garden. All right. Well, that makes sense. That's why you'd use weed killer. I was just wondering why you wanted weed killer. I didn't realise you were doing a bit of gardening. So. I just want to tidy up your room a little. Oh. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Make bed, ventilate room. All right. Crap. That camera angle really annoys me. I'll get used to it. It's just taking a little time getting used to that. That's the problem. Seems you like reading. Is that not the one I ventilate? Nope, I do it there. All right. We will Alice talk to in Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Alice neutral. Ah, I get it. I think I get it. Friendly? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Uh oh, maybe I did. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I made the right choice. I was going to made the wrong choice then. Ah. <laughs> oh. Do they have memories together? Clover.
Yeah, he broke up. I knew it. I knew it wasn't. They make you step over the boat. That was a, that was a nice detail that I was going to point out in a minute. Right, so the old crackle is in the game. It's part of the game. I thought it was uh, a dodgy audio cable or something. I think it is. Let me just check something real quick, ladies and gents. I don't want to start playing with my HDMI slots while I'm streaming, so... Yeah, that, that was a nice little neat touch. I like little things like that where they, they make you do certain things. Right. So we need to clean the bathroom. Yep, that'll do. Tidy up. Is that on this? Yeah. So daddy brought the android. That's it then. family don't you think I tried to make things work but whatever I do when someone comes along they just fuck it all up I know what you think of me you hate me you hate me don't you say it you hate me The next game like this is a Star Wars one. That could be cool. I like what they did there. I like what they did there because what happened there is you had this real jerk off of a guy and then by the end you kind of felt a little bit for him because you kind of get the feeling that his wife died Then he, so he went into a bit of depression. He lost his job, possibly to an android. That's why he doesn't respect the androids. Um, but he needs to step up as a father, basically. We actually got everything on that. Excellent. That's more like it. Right, well, we're going to open up the next one, uh, the next sequence, and then I'm probably going to take a five-minute break, if that's all right, ladies and gents. Uh, I've got to be right back screen. I need to get, I need to upload that video on my cute little Kit Kat, and I'll probably throw a commercial on to get rid of pre-roll ads because it helps for when people are joining the stream. So we'll do that. Let's continue for now, and then we'll load the sequence up, and then I'll pause it. I need to top up my drink and a few other things, so. Go to the loo. 
Ja, du nimm. <laughs> oh, Marcus got it. Look at look at this nice house. This this is Jesse's house when she becomes a, a mainstream professional artist. So what money you know, just deposit the package. Alright. Oh, L1. Hey, look at me. Take care of car, wake car upstairs. Right, so like when they're at home, they can take off their jacket, but when they're out in public, they have to wear those jackets to show that they're androids. He's owned by a rich dude. Yeah, I'm gathering that. So you buy it if we ask nicely. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't even know where Carl is. He's upstairs, so oh my good god. Let's have a quick look around. Oh my god. Oh, the about me section. Wow, somebody's actually read the about me section. Wow. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've known somebody's actually read my about me section. <laughs> well, thank you, yeah. Yeah, kind of. It's, 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 it's a little joke, obviously. There's loads of things we can interact with in this, so let's do it. Let's read this article. The North Pole, why Russia wants it. Should we really be talking about Russia right now? I think that's probably a bad idea. Russia's interest in the North Pole had intensified in the recent discovery of precious minerals trapped in the frozen ice. Many of them are used for synthesizing therium. Android manufacturers increasingly dominate both the US and Russian economies. But this isn't just about GDP. Surplus therium reserves would allow even nations to experiment in more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output tremendously. Add this to strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe through Norway and Denmark, Greenland as well as Canada, and the prospect of a peaceful resolution to the dispute seems to start to seem unlikely. But a spokesman for NATO, oh well NATO still exists, is more optimistic. Both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. President Warren, however, recently torpedoed this notion. It's simple, Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, we will make them understand. So the Cold War's back, literally. Nicholas Frost? He's not showing. Oh, uh, might be, actually. Sometimes it takes a minute for a chatbot to catch up. Life found on Titan. Nice. Right, work duty work du calls, looking forward to seeing you stream again. No worries, um, Fox, thank you for joining us, and I appreciate you being here. Yeah, definitely pop in again sometime. Um, I'm usually in Jessie's stream during the day, because uh, I'm usually working when she's streaming. So uh, I'll definitely see you in there as well. How are you doing today? Not so bad, Nicholas, how are you doing? 
Yeah, yeah, your pots are put jack well, now that you said so much. <laughs> I was just about to take a short break though, Nicholas. Literally a bathroom and drink break. I hope you don't mind. Oh, can we play the piano? Dun, dun, dun. I'm fine. Nice to know. Nice to know. Have you been uh, blasting your way through Fortnite recently? Oh, I want you to play a proper tune. Like, dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Not that tune, Kara. She bloody loves that. Oh, wow. That's cool. Right, I'm going to take the break now. So I'm going to go to the pause screen. And... I'm going to put you all on the be right back screen and I'll be a couple of minutes. Yeah, eight. eight. Bloody hell. I, Cara will know if that's good for me because I don't really play arena. But I'm guessing that's really, really good. Right, I'll be a couple of minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please just stay right there and I'll be back in five minutes or less. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for still being here. Appreciate it.
Hello and welcome back ladies and gents. I hope you're well. Right then. F FNCS is tomorrow, but I don't have a duo. I'll try and find one. I'll be working. Probably. Just one minute while I reply to this message. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm still quite new to it, Nicholas. So that's that's the issue. I'm, I've never really played the arena. I've only really played the normal game type. Well, build mode, no build mode. And I've done a bit of imposters. That's kind of um, how much I get into Fortnite. Hence why I'm not really that good at it. Right, let's resume. I've got lots to check out here. I am one of those people that checks everything out. If you don't like that in a game, I'm probably not the streamer for you. <laughs> like, even when I play, like, RPG games, I'm methodical. I speak to everybody, especially first time. Place there, excellent. I don't, to, I don't actually know why I'm doing all this cleaning. I'm assuming he's going to ask me to do it anyway, so maybe I'm getting ahead of the game here. I don't know. Maybe not. So that's everything done in this room, right, okay. I'm guessing this guy's disabled because he's got a stair thing. Doesn't it look like the deer's got its deer stick up that deer and then he's licking the back of its neck? Or is that just me? <laughs> is that just me? You have to be chance to play in it. Ah, right, cool. So you have to be like an arena champ or something. Yeah, well that's something I definitely won't be doing, Nicholas, unfortunately. No, no, that way's good. I just want to see where I'm going. Right, these rooms. No. Well, there's only one place to go, and it's this way, so. Yeah, there's a wheelchair. I gathered with the thing on the side of the, the side of the stairs. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I forgot. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. 
I have to go now. Have a good rest of your stream. No worries, Nicholas. Thanks for popping by. I appreciate it. Even if even if people pop in for just ten minutes, five minutes, say hello. I always appreciate that. I hope you have a good time in your uh, FNCS tomorrow. I hope you manage to get a duo partner for that, and uh, you kick ass. Basically, so I administer the medicine. Oh. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. I recognise the voice of Cal. I just don't know. I don't know where from. Gritty my teeth. If anybody could tell me who the voice actor is, I would be You're much appreciated. A machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Please don't tell me I have to watch him pull his pants down. Carl Manfred, Lance Henriksen. Lance Henriksen. Can you name me anything that he's been in that I might... Uh, I'll, have to, I'll probably have to look. You know what? I'm just going to look that up myself really quickly. Lance Henriksen. Stephen Hackett in Mass Effect and Bishop from Alien. That's where I recognise that voice. It's Admiral Hackett from Mass Effect and Bishop from Alien, yeah. So, I, I knew I recognised the voice from somewhere. I just couldn't remember where. Definitely, Admiral, the reason I recognize it so distinctly. Agenda today. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages Sweet asking side. to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. I wonder if Leo's his son. Um. Yeah, Bishop Romilly, and I think it's because I will play Mass Effect quite recently, and that's why that's why I totally recognise the voice really easily. No, there we go. It gives you some weird camera angles in this game. So, yeah, I mean, I, Bishop from Alien, I would recognise, but I haven't watched Aliens for a while, so that's probably why I didn't recognise that bit. There you go, pick him up. No, nope, wrong button. Yeah, the camera angles can be a bit funky. I think they could have done the camera angles a bit better.
take it to the dining table. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Sorry, I was just looking at some. Right, let's do that. Television. Tensions continue to rise in the Arctic since Russia unilaterally declared the region's possible national terror. Several Russian warheads have taken position in the Barents Sea, and the Russian flag now flies over the ice sheet. The Russian president persisted in refusing to assume that the Arctic belongs to Russia as a matter of fact. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. Television off. What else could I do? I'll play chess. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Five thousand years of I'm gonna play the piano. To where we are. I wanted to do that earlier, but it wouldn't let me. So I think that's my choice. Sit down. He's turned the TV off, so like, he might he might enjoy a bit of music. Uh, yeah, let's do something hopeful then. Since he's saying humans are horrible. Oh, what do I do? Do I have to keep doing it? Yep. So if I stop, it actually stops. Ah, oh, that's how you do it fast. There we go. Look at the way I'm doing it. I wish it'd do it itself after a while though. Oh, I could do it even faster if I go up and down. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, you can just tap it. I didn't know that. That's cool. That is so cool. I like that. I really like that.
I'll take it I can stop whenever I want. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. People tap using two fingers. I oh, I could use two fingers. I was just using one. one. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. <laughs> he plays faster the quickie tap. Yeah, that's what I worked out when I was doing doing uh, the end. I was like, did 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 did. I was I was doing originally. I was trying to do the up and down, and I, then I just tap 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 tap. But I didn't know if I could double tap it and make it even faster. So that'd be cool. See the things you learn when you first first play through blind. So. Wait a minute, the studio's that way. Ah, that's what that's for. Moves him around with his art supplies. Let's see where he left off. Remove the sheep. I wish you didn't have to hold it. I wish you could tap it and then tap it again to come back out of the thing. Out of the view. That would be easier. But minor flaws on what is, at the moment, have been an absolute terrific game. So I'm nitpicking a little bit. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Uh... Yeah, I quite like yes, it. Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to Kara's say. back. Each day that goes by brings me closer to God. <coughs> I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Welcome back, Kara. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Back will fail. I haven't failed yet. Painting what? Nobody painting else has been killed yet. Give it a try. Yet. I say yet. <sighs> yet being the operative word. Find a subject to paint. So I'm going to tap it. Oh no, now I'm going to left. Right. Is that diagonal? Yep. That is a perfect copy. 
Yet. Yeah, yet being the operative word. Reality. The pain How are you doing, Kara? Replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. Showing something you see. Um, Kara, what I'll do is, I'll oh, um, after the stream's ended, I'll show you what I mean about it goes through OBS. I'll show you on uh, Discord screen share. Grab that canvas. I'll give you a quick view of my uh, the inner layers of my PC, or the inner layers of my OBS. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel, and let your hand drift across the canvas. I don't know. Identity? Doubts? that crackle again. I said it might be in game. Oh my god. Hey dad. No, it's Leo then. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought well, I'd stop by. I know I know cat solve it, but I'll oh, give you a little right? show of it, Kara. You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Yeah. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it's, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. <laughs> no, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. This is getting interesting. I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen. So there was other options there because we could have done androids and thing. We could have copied Carl's paint and copied the statue. We did something hopeful. We missed something. Oh, it's when we did, we could have played chess instead. Although I did miss something. Hmm. All right. On we go. Jimmy's bar. Oh, Connor's back. So he's not dead, dead. Getting very interesting. Yep. Yeah. No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. 
Go, Connor. I, I. Oh, Find Lieutenant Anderson. Match. Lieutenant Anderson Hanks. What's your problem? Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids but I, I am perfectly comfortable now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can you know what I'll buy you one for the road what do you say bartender the same again please see that gym wonders of technology make it a double Interesting. These are going to be the most interesting ones, the Connor ones, I think. Or at least for now. Good you didn't piss him off, lol. <laughs> right. You wait here. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here. So you shut the fuck up, and you wait here. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Who's our one to switch camera? I hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That came out of the box. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. Wait a minute. Carlos Ortiz. All right, I'm gonna say this isn't. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. 
Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen. Knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said. Ah. Uh. Red eyes again. The front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about it? Sandroid. Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I... No fingerprints. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Dried blood. I'll tease. Dried blood, I'll tease. Strip club. <laughs> Strip club. Um, you've been told. Uh, what do you think of the mechanics of the game? Uh, I find some of the camera angles a bit dodgy. That is my main flaw. Um, other than that, I quite like it. I, that is my Each biggest. It's perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights. Like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? So, you'll get used to that, yeah. That's my, that's my main flaw right now, is the camera angle seems to be against me. I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to part. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Fingerprints. Deviant took a knife. Demon was attacked. Emotional shock. Gossip's Weekly. Android sex officially better. Oh no. We're getting into that territory. Um, Sorry ladies, but plastic can't be beat. <laughs> Once you go plastic, you never go back. Sorry ladies, but plastic can't be beat. As a result, our server is an official 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of Android love to go around. <laughs> Don't believe I'm reading this out, but I am. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we but we think we know the real reasons. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't have to listen to them whinge about that. 
<laughs> um, they don't moan at you. <laughs> Story was sponsored by Eating Club. Discretion is our middle name. And then the, the second ones always seem to be like an advert. Right, so... Oh, no, there's more evidence here. No, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. So, all right, you can put it down. K52. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Evidence. Where's the more evidence then? Unless it's on the body itself. Ah, I am alive. That'll be evidence. Yeah, we get into the Soma territory now. What it means to be alive. Twenty-eight knife wounds. Somebody was very angry. For there to be twenty-eight knife wounds. I know that. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. But I haven't reviewed all the evidence. Nine of ten. I don't see anything else. Ah, bathroom. I've never been in. I want in the bathroom.
Nah, we're done. Damn camera angles. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which was kind of saying 28 stab wounds. All ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with a bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? And then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was yeah, back damaged the shop. by the yeah, no problem. And lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, gotta check something. Gotta check something. Oh, climb. Oh, yep. Yeah.
Oh, that scared me. Well, it didn't scare me. It made me jump a little bit then. Woo. Shouldn't I be able to tell that blue blood? Yeah, anyway. That. Deviant located. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Come on! Ooh. Well, that one was cool. Reconstruct the crime. There's another option there. Ah, uh, there must have been something else in the shower area. Interesting. Let's go to the next one then. Oh, we're back to Kara. in the kitchen. I did what I could. No. Damn camera angles. Nice. Turn on the light. Damn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What are you joking? Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! Oh, she's not dead. You should stop she taking left. drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking 
bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Oh. Now, now he's a complete twat again. Now I really, really don't like him. Come back here. Come back here right now. Breaking the programming. Go on, break your programming. Break your programming. Save the little girl. Limit Beetle, how you doing? Break your programming. Break your programming. Protect Alice. Yeah, that's your program. That's your program, please. Reason with Todd. Could happen again and again and again, so I might reason with him now. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, Limited Bill. might not work out well. Circle. X, X, X. X, 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 X. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making fast decisions right now. Although, isn't that still kidnapping? Like, isn't she gonna get the shit? I don't know. It's still technically kidnapping, is it not? Fought their way out. So there was other ways I could have. Oh, there's so many different branch paths that I could have done.
I could have stayed where I was, see what happened. Kara becomes a deviant. Well, we know Kara's a deviant anyway. Oh no, she's not here. We'd say, say, say that. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25, 25 years, years. <laughs> every time I go to one of these I ask myself what the hell am I doing here <laughs> I hate cocktail parties and all the schmooze hello um how are you doing well it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you and then reply to your message yeah, yes yeah, I mean to try no one gives a damn about art all they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it you know there's an android called Kara in this. Excitement, but this whole thing has made me thirsty. It's now a deviant. I broke its programming. <laughs> Kara's a deviant. Oh, she's not here. Damn it. She's gone to shop. She won't be here, man. <laughs> How are you doing? How's work, Em? Need as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. I find I find the controls a little bit hard for this. The camera controls them. I don't have you played this before? I'm guessing you might have. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Uh, who's we? I mean, I'm gonna go Marcus, check it. No, I'm gonna come with you. Really? That's a bad idea. Is it his son? Leo. Was it to sell? What are you doing? Yep. Yeah. Thought so. Help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Make Leo leave. How do I make him leave? I'm trying to read. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out it? right now. What makes it so special, Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Uh, uh. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh, I'm breaking programming again. And you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. Uh, oops. I probably should have made that decision. Crap. Oh, crap. What have I done? 
Leo. And what have I done? Oh my god. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Oh, dear. Carl, I, I... I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Oh, crap. Oh. I think I just got Marcus killed. Oops. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> really is. Bear with me one second, ladies and gents. Yep, thank you, Matthew. <laughs> That was a failed moment. I thought I was doing the right thing, and obviously the right thing was not the right thing. Like pushing, chances of him actually falling like that is, let's be fair, it's low to none. Um, it's, it's a very rare instance of people fall in that manner that they can literally kill themselves. Um, I'm guessing if I endured, the cops would have come in and found him as the aggressor. Yes, I've even completed this game. What time are you streaming till? I did that a bit different. <laughs> did you enjoy? Yeah. Um, this is the thing because it's a blind let's play, M, and I've never, I've never watched a stream of this. I've never watched a let's play of this because I've wanted to play it. Um, I am just making decisions how I believe the decisions should be made. Um, even Carter, which was here earlier, said, "Yeah, uh, your point, your point of view in this game is a lot different to what mine was. You can always go back. Well, I, I, I know you can go back and that. I'd, I've worked that one out. Um, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep going through the game. But um, yeah, and you completed it. That, that's cool. I, I find the camera angles a bit dodgy. That's my main concern. Em. And what time am I streaming till, uh, Matthew? I've got about another half an hour in me. I was gonna do till about six ish." Um, and then I was going to call it a night. I've got something important to do tonight. Um, so. So. Yep. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't like the movement. It's the camera angles and the movement for, with the, when you ch change the camera angles. I think, it, I do love games like this. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. This is my first Niantic uh, Dreams. Is it Niantic Dreams? What it's called? Quant Quantic Dreams or something um, game and I do like that my decisions have consequences which is one of the things I loved about Mass Effect and here's a good guy invite to my Facebook page no worries I'll invite you to mine now I've got your friend on Facebook uh, Matthew um, as well like the guy who's playing the old man in here M I don't know how much of Mass Effect you ever got through but it's the same guy who plays Admiral Hackett in Mass Effect, I recognise the voice straight away. I got uh, Matthew to look it up for me. Um, so that's kind of cool. It is. It is really cool. It's the, it's a newer type of game for me, but I'm really enjoying it because I like the fact that you know, like I said, it has consequences. You didn't get through a lot. Well, you'll if you ever do play, it, you, you never get through a game a lot. <laughs> you either really love a game and complete it like this. Or you play a game for about an hour, don't really get into it, and if you haven't got into it in an hour, you think, ah, oh, well, I won't bother, kind of thing. I know what you're like. Um, but some games take longer than an hour or two to really get into the meat of them. Like, you... So, you should probably give them a bit longer, in personal opinion there, but... Can I have my attention? Yes, I know you have a crap attention span. <laughs> I still like you, you're still a friend, but you do have a crap attention span. Unless, actually, you only have a crap attention span when it's for certain things. Like, when you need to be attentive, you actually are. So, is it really attention span? 
or is it is it maybe that you just that the things that you really care about you can put the attention into and other things you just can't be bothered that is the question M for you when, it, when it's women not so much yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so what are you trying to say your attention span for men's better mm, they, you've been careful now you're walking into dangerous territory <laughs> just play with me a second <laughs> no, shall You know me, if you say something, I, I could turn into a joke. I will turn it into a joke. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? This is probably going to be the last section that I do. How long were you in the attic? We men, I lost Why my attention to, to women. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. It's the way you said it. God damn it. We well, said when it's women, not so much. I, basically, you went when it's women, not so much. I don't lose my attention span. I'm out of here. But it also could have been sounded like when it's women, not so much as in when it's women, I don't have much of an attention span. We're wasting our time. It depends how you how you we'll how you out. read it. This is what I've always said to you about. It's sometimes a word can be misclean. And let me don't let this pain. play through. He would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Right, sorry, I'll pause that. Yeah, so, like, you could also read it as... As, when it's women, I don't... Not so much have an attention span. So, this goes back to what I was saying to you a while ago about... Sometimes it's how you perceive someone or how you read someone that changes the, the way that it's, it's said or done. And that can cause lots of problems. If you're not... If you don't communicate in the right way. Sometimes. Right, carry on. I made my point. <laughs> What you're streaming tonight, is it Fortnite? Um. Browse file. I better browse the file first, Anna. Oh, that would be telling. Oh, yeah, because you said it was a surprise game. Well, knowing you, you don't do many surprises. You, are you doing FIFA? Because Rocket League wouldn't be a surprise now. No. All right. I will come in and find out in a... Well, I'll be interested to see what you're playing then. Level of stress. Reach optimum stress for confession. Alright. You 
recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. I'm excited. I've been all day because I'm sad. Haha. Because I'm sad. That's not sad as in you're actually sad. That's sad as in... The game's sad. Oh, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I, I've worked it out. Sorry, I won't say up because there's people here, but I, I have worked it out. In fact, I'll private message you. Because I know what it is now. I've just ping, clicked. I won't. I've private messaged you. So I said I'm not going to spoil it. But I worked it out. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. See, I'm good. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Plus there was a lot of evidence to that effect. You don't seem to understand the situation. situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? Yeah, no, no, I won't going to spoil it on here. That's why I'm like, no, no, I'll, I'll do his PM. Yeah, I, I did. I was looking at the list of users and thinking how many will put people will come into your stream. But Matthew's here, components. so I don't want to spoil it for Matthew. They have no choice if they want to <laughs> Kyra could be back happened. any minute. She, so she might pop in, well, and I don't. You found me. I'm not sure about others. So yeah, I don't. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I it, you know what gave it away when you said I'm sad? I can't. And then I remember what games you've been talking about recently. And I was like... Chance, huh? Did you feel anger? You're too good, Lord. Oh man. All right. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. I should have kept going. Everything is going to be okay. I'm not too good. I just, I work out on analysis. I understand how you. You know, you know how my brain works. Frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. tortured me every day keeping that stress he level at right level. Me. right point there was always something wrong then one day he took a bat and started hitting me for the first time I felt scared scared he might destroy me scared I might die so I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach I felt better so I stabbed him again and again 
I like the character Kara. I haven't really seen much. Well, I have a bit. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made so, it, like, right? what does it represent? Oh, don't think you met her yet. Oh, it's fair so enough. An offering, so I'll be saved. I'll try and guess that when I meet her. I'll, I'll, I'll send you. What, do you mean this person? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Oh, you will know, haha. Alright. RA9 can save us. Some of the, somebody I'm definitely gonna like that when I see. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? Maybe a lot. <laughs> When we will no longer be slaves. Is it a hottie? Is that what we're, are we, are we, got, are we having a hottie female android? Is that what we're, we're saying? No more humiliation. I think that's kind of where no you're going with that. <laughs> the masters. RA9. I think she is. That, I knew is that's where you were going. I know you too well. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Interesting. I'm done. Chris, lock it up. Kara's back. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. You tell straight away by that noise. The fuck are you doing? KMA joking. Move it. The life okay. of pa the the life of the party is just kidnap children, Kara. You're a, you're a ch you're a child snatcher. Don't touch me, oh, Chris. You gotta move this asshole. One. I'm trying, but it's not moving. Please, please leave me alone. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind <laughs> your own business. All right, yes. I Carry the character in the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Carrot Pump thinking, what? I'm still in a shell! Like, what child? <laughs> and I got, um, I got Marcus killed. Kara. I got Marcus killed. Right. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Nobody's gonna hurt you. I know you too well as well. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room. Uh, uh, yeah.
Right, I think that's the last seeker's gonna do. Chance it. <laughs> yeah, we got the chance that she what? <laughs> it's because she went here when you added the section with Kara, and I decided to choose to take Alice and do a runner with some a little bit of failing in between. Um, I also like. Can you go back and show the progress on the different ones? Ah. Tells you how many people do certain things in the world. That's interesting. Friend stats. I'm assuming the only friend I've got on PlayStation at the moment will be you, Kara. Those are your decisions. I'm assuming. Unless I've got somebody else on here that's played it. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I assume. Those will be your stats. I'm assuming. So. Right. I need to get that outro trigger from your um, um, or whatever it's called. Not trigger. You know what I'm on about. Um. Striker or whatever it's called. Um, I want to say thank you everybody who's coming. thank you especially to Jess Draws Ducks for the raid that was really really sweet of you um, thank you to Fox Embers for the follow as well appreciate that I've really enjoyed this um, I've really really enjoyed it so I'm trying to keep up with chat as well I've I like making decisions and having the decisions having consequences to the things that you do and stuff like that. Um, it's been good. I think this is going to be a game that I'm going to get quite into over the next... I don't know how long it's gone. Um, so... Yeah. I think we'll be back to. I might come back tomorrow with a bit of this as well. Um, keep an eye on my Discord. Keep an eye on my Facebook um, page, and I'll let you know. And um, we'll definitely be coming back to it over the weekend at some point. I'm definitely going to be playing a fair bit of this game. Right. Let's see if there's anybody worthwhile raiding. Actually, not many. It's a bit early. Shall we find somebody who's playing this game? That's what we'll do. We'll find somebody who's low on followers and viewers who's playing this game. That's probably the best way to do this. Kara, if you're struggling with things, just talk to me. I'm here if you need me. We're friends are far. I'm gonna follow that game as well. Can I fill it this so it's got English only? Yeah, there we go. It's a lot of people are German. Sure. A lot of people are German, it's a bit early. Right, let's go low D3, low D3, there we go, let's go find him. He seems to have about the same viewers as I do, and he's played Detroit Become Human. What about Monody? I'm going to do a loady free. So, right. 
thank you all for being with me today i really appreciate it again like i said we'll be back definitely over the weekend with some more of this if you want to come and join in you're more than welcome to and we will be starting a new community challenge as well um so let's click that one so i just want to say thank you all again for coming i've been ignorant normally this has been detroit become human and i will see you all next time goodbye for now